and welcome to another flipped classroom tutorial on Scratch. After our previous tutorials on Scratch, it is now time to look at variables. Now variables are great if and when you want to use a counter and that's just what we're going to do today. So open one of your previous projects, which is what I've done here. As you can see I have a sprite. When I press the green flag it automatically changes costume when I go left. It goes left, when I press the right arrow it goes right, up and down. Now I want to add a counter, so whenever I press the spacebar I want it to count. So in order to do that let's create our variable. So go to data and make a variable. And we're going to call this variable counter. I am going to set the counter to zero whenever the green flag is clicked. That way we can reset our game whenever we click on the green flag. You will see that the counter is in the top left corner. If you do not want to display your counter on screen, simply untick or uncheck this little box. Now I do want to display my counter. As you can see, whenever I press the spacebar, it is not yet counting because I have not yet programmed this. So let's go ahead and select events. When the space key is pressed, I am going to go and change my counter. So change counter by 1. Now whenever I press space you will see the counter increases in steps of 1. This is great when you have a race game or another game created where there is a finish line and whenever you touch a certain color you want the counter to go up or down. Now I can also change this and do minus one. This way I will have a countdown counter. Now, time to do something a little bit different. We can also use these operators. Basically, you would like to use operators if, let's say, you want to count in steps of two or steps of five. So let's start by setting our counter to zero by simply clicking on the green flag seeing as we've programmed it down here. And now instead of just saying change counter by, I am going to take this block out and I'm going to select set counter to. Now I'm going to set the counter to a value which equals the counter plus five. This way we are going to do steps of five. So we are going to select a blank plus blank block from the operators. I'm going to select a counter in one side and I'm going to do counter plus five. Now what this is going to do, instead of having a numeral value, I'm going to have this operator very basic maths, but this will enable me to count in steps of five. So as you will see, whenever I press the space bar, I count up in fives. Now the limit of this is really your imagination. You have all these operators and you can use all these operators in combination with each other. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. I will soon be uploading more Scratch videos, so make sure you subscribe and like this video. Leave a simple comment if you have any further questions. Thank you for watching.